Hello, hello. I am back with another video. And before I begin, <laughs> I want you all to see I have orange fingernails on my channel. And the reason why I'm bringing that up is because I share on my videos to do the pinks and the nudes and the natural feminine colors. And I really hate this orange fingernail polish on my nails. <laughs> I really do. I went to the nail salon and the lady there, she told me that she had a beautiful color. I got a beautiful color for you. It's for you. See, it's pretty for you. And she put it on while I was running my mouth. And, and then when I looked at it, it looked pretty. It's the pretty color, but not for my fingernails but she was already had an already progressed in doing it and I'm really more health conscious than anything so in my mind I thought now to take this stuff off I'm gonna have to go through more toxic chemicals so I just went with it we st I'm still in corona I'm really not going nowhere but <laughs> Anyway, I'm ready for Halloween. I'm ready for Halloween or I'm ready to go shopping at Home Depot. I don't know. I got orange fingernails. So I had to release that energy. So I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I had to release it. Anyway, the purpose of this video is to talk about the difference between being chased and being pursued. And I want to talk about this because there are some unhealthy people that will chase and to separate the two we'll call one a chaser and one a pursuer because there are some people who are mentally unstable who chase they are stalkers who chase they are um, serial killers maybe I don't know who might chase and we don't want to confuse the healthy men with those type of men and I might have used the word chase in the past, but I wasn't saying it in an aggressive way, you know, that, you know, a woman, you know, a man rather, likes the thrill of the chase, so to speak. But I wasn't saying it for unhealthy beings. I only speak of healthy beings on my channel when I speak about relationships. So I want to separate the two for us to really understand that sometimes men that chase you aren't healthy. Sometimes your th thought process of being chased is unhealthy as well. And so let's begin. Let's think about, let's think about, okay, when we were younger, I don't know about you, but when I was younger, we I had a lot of boys on the street that lived by me. I didn't grow up with you know, little girls besides really my sisters and, you know, my outside friends that didn't live on my street. So on my street, we would run. We would race like to the corner, you know. We only lived maybe about three houses from the corner, so it wasn't a far run. And we were raised to the stop sign, right? There were two, the cable box, on, you know, they had a cable box and a stop sign on the um, corner. So we would race and just thinking about a person when they're racing, when they are chasing, you know, you or, or in a, in a race, you know, they're, they're out of breath. Mm -hmm. They can't wait to the, get to the stop sign so they could just stop or take a break. You know, um, their heart is beating real, real fast. They feel real anxious, you know? And then maybe in their mind, they're hoping when they get to that stop sign that you pick up the slack. You know, if there was a team race, you know, they'll be passing maybe the baton to somebody else so they could run further if it was a team effort. Bottom line is they'll be and felt as though they did their part and it was their moment to stop. Stop at the stop sign. Now, there are people in the physical reality that feel like that when they're chasing a woman. There are men that feel that way. Not all, but some. 
Some will chase you just to get to that stop sign. And that's it. I chased you. And so, because they know when they get to that stop sign, they know that the woman, she's now all in. He done told her all kind of things to, you know, that sounded appealing while he was chasing. And he understands that a woman could fall for him by the things that he say to her. So he did his part. So now he's at the stop sign. And they are women in the physical reality right now today in relationships or trying to obtain a relationship from that person that chased, ran to the stop sign and waited for the woman to pick up the slack. So now she's picking up the slack in this unhealthy relationship because she was chased. She's picking up the slack in her mind thinking, man, what happened to the guy that was chasing me? And we had really great times. He told me that, so maybe if I pick up the slack now, <laughs> Maybe he'll go back to being that guy. But no, nope, that race is over. He got right where he wanted to be, to the stop sign. That's, that's all he had. And, and he probably now is ready to chase somewhere, someone else. Because that's, that's, that's what he does. He chases to get to the stop sign. Stop sign might have that woman on her back. The stop sign might have that woman giving him, you know, stroking his ego or whatever his goal was. He there, yeah, he made it to the stop sign. And that is unhealthy. <laughs> if you really think about it, the guys that you allow to chase you, if you were a woman, the ones that you had the strength to really chase, to let chase you, in the beginning, you really did like them. Mm -mm. That's how you had so much of strength. You didn't really like them. Mm -mm. You didn't really like them. In the beginning, you had the ability to ignore their phone calls, answer their text the next day. Why? Because you really didn't care. You didn't care. Like, what do you want now? Why you keep calling me? But in the effort of chasing you, it's almost like they, they pin you down, <laughs> you know? You gotta really think about these things. It's almost like they, they, they chased you so much that you got pinned down and you're like, okay, okay, I, I guess I do like you. <laughs> you see? So someone that you didn't like chased you so much to get your attention just to stop. That is the part of the chasing that I really wanted to talk about because that is the part that is so not healthy. But then we sometimes may fall for that particular person based upon the representative that was running in the race. But really, the real person is the person that's sitting at the stop sign, not giving you no more attention, not chasing you no more. But you fell in love with him or the idea of love with him while he was chasing with his unhealthy self. <laughs> the other day, I'm going to share this with you. The other day, I'm going to show you how the emotions could get so chaotic. I was being chased. I was being chased by someone. I went to this event and at this particular event, uh, I was helping somebody accomplish something this, without chain on my business. This was uh, like a high status person and I was helping them with something and I was talking to them to help them with the logistics aspects of what we were planning and organizing right and so I'm talking to them and my cell phone begin to ring my cell phone is ringing so I bought I bought the volume down and put it on vibrate because somebody that was calling me 
is a person that normally chases me, but I was busy at the time, so I put it on vibrate and I'm talking to this person <laughs> and we're handling business. And this person said to me, so-and-so is looking for you in the middle of the conversation. And I was like, what, how you know? Cause the person that she, this um, person called out <laughs> was the person, you know, that was a chase and that was on the phone. And I'm like, what do you mean? And I look back at the phone, which was ringing again. And then I realized that it wasn't just one call that I had missed. It was four. And I was looking at her telling me that so-and-so was looking for me. And then she pointed her finger. And so-and-so was across the street yelling my name. So I'm looking at the phone, the phone is ringing. She's telling me about so-and-so and there is so-and-so yelling my name. And I'm like, what, what, what am I here? What, what's going on? And so, so-and-so <laughs> really didn't want anything for my attention, you know, to come by them. And I had just talked to so-and-so, but this person that I was talking to, she says, we'll talk later. Go and see what so-and-so wants. And she laughed. You see, other people around, they'll see, they'll laugh at it. Because they'll see how unbalanced and how unhealthy it can be when you're being chased. But they just laugh at you and be like, ooh, good luck with that. <laughs> Meanwhile, you have someone literally chasing you like... <laughs> Like out of breath, emotionally chaotic, chasing you. Like they will make an attempt to call you and if you don't answer in their mental, they got to do something else. Now they got to pass by the house. And their mental, now they got to yell. And their mental... Now they got to send 20 texts in their mental because they're not healthy yet. They're still on a journey. And so they're seeking validation in an unhealthy way is what I'm saying because some of these chases are very unhealthy. And this is why it is so important so important in the beginning stages of relationships for women to use logic and pay attention to actions all of them <laughs> even the unbalanced ones i know it feels so good sometimes to be chased you know and get that attention you know i know that could feel good but let me tell you how healthy it feels when you're being pursued instead when you're being pursued, it's so healthy because now the guy is chasing or pursuing, I'm sorry. The guy is pursuing in a healthy way. And then now you in turn can reciprocate that. You know, now he's pursuing and you could respond because you like this person and it's okay because you want him to see how beautiful you are because he's showing you how great of a leader he is, how great of a protector or a provider or, or that he's into you. Now you really, because it is balanced energy, now you really don't want to ignore his calls. Now you really do care that he texts you and what he had to say. This is what I'm talking about as far as the balance of being pursued in a healthy way versus being chased. 
It's two different energies. It's two different energies. And you know, some people in the physical reality, some people choose their target, so to speak. That's that's kind of like uh, coincides with the, the laws of power, you know, like the little tactics that they do, the little mind games. They'll choose a target and This is why logic is so important. Like, like some men, when they are on a, in an unhealthy place, because we're all on a journey, there's no judgment here. When, we, when they're in an unhealthy pay, they place, they'll choose a target that they're going to take to that stop sign and chase all the way to that stop sign. But then they go stop though. They'll choose maybe a, a heavy set lady only heavy set ladies with low self esteem that might be their target because they know that they that lady gonna have that low self esteem they might choose an introverted person that don't have that many friends mm -hmm. they'll choose an introverted person that don't have no friends and take them out places you know around other people take them out of their lonely environment per se and bring them around and show and, and, and show them like like um would be in the life of the party or something like that feels like and they'll probably choose that independent woman and they'll probably be real assertive with her because you know hoo -hoo, the independent woman wants somebody that's really assertive you know she wants that bad boy so to speak maybe and so They'll have the victim lined up to bring them to that stop sign. And now the independent woman had turned and now she wants him to continue. So she'll do whatever it takes. Now the heavy set lady, she'll do whatever it takes to get that attention. Now the introverted person feeling lonely again and do whatever it takes to be with that extroverted person because they all want that balance. And so now they'll try to find the balance in someone who's not even balanced themselves. So this is why it is so important to use logic, so important to work on your mental, so important to have self-love. And so important to be pursued versus being chased in an unhealthy way. I wanted to share this video with you because I just wanted to open up the thought of the the idea that it might feel, feel good for someone to say good morning to you, to chase you, <laughs> to call you all day long, wondering what street you're on, if you ate, what, you know, what... What, what your whereabouts, what, <laughs> what time you getting off, what color you have on, why you didn't answer the phone, I'm right across the street looking at you, I saw you talking, what was that face all about? It might kind of feel good for some people to get that kind of attention, those that may need it. But stalkers do that too. Stalkers do that too. It is healthier when when both people are having that interaction, the healthy exchange, and you're not being bombarded. Because when I think about something chasing me, all I can think about is maybe a dog. <laughs> a dog. Imagine a dog chasing me and I'm running down the street. Like, oh my God, what is wrong with him? Is he going to bite me? You know, is he going to eat me to pieces? Am I going to make it out of here? I could imagine the adrenaline rush. I could imagine the fatigue. You know, <laughs> I could imagine the stress. I could imagine my, maybe my immune system decreasing instantaneously because of that moment. And that's just far from healthy. So we got to ask ourselves in the physical reality, 
Do we want to be chased? Or do we want to be pursued? I'll take pursued on any day because I know it is the healthier of the two. This video was from my heart to yours. Be blessed, babe.